Hello everyone, in this video I am going to explain the mold concept in a very simple way. Before going to the mold concept in detail, I will tell you an incident. Yesterday I went to a garden, a magic garden, where I could see a variety of fruits. I am not going to tell you where it is exactly located, but believe me, it's a magic garden. Why magic? Because in this garden the fruits are in a certain non-breakable agreement. For example, this is a grape from that garden. If the mass of this grape is one unit, the mass of an apple from that garden will be 12 units. And the mass of a mango from that garden will be 16 units. And these fruits will not break these rules. And the gardener was very happy with me and he offered some fruits when I was about to leave. I asked him 100 grapes, 100 apples and 100 mangoes. I thought he would take several minutes counting all these 300 fruits but he finished his job in less than a minute. What he did is he gave me 1 kilograms of grapes, 12 kilograms of apples and 16 kilograms of mangoes. What the gardener did was a pretty simple mathematics. He knows that the mass of a grape is 10 grams. So this is a magic garden. Obviously, the apple is 12 times heavier than the grape and so the apple will be 120 gram. And the mango is 16 times heavier than the grape so the mango will be 160 grams. Let me explain in detail the gardener's pretty simple mathematics. He gave me 1 kilogram of grapes. So 1 kilogram of grapes contains how many grapes? The total mass is 1 kilogram means 1000 gram divided by the mass of 1 grape that is 10 gram. That is equal to 100 grapes. And he gave me 12 kilograms of apples. So 12 kilograms of apples contains how many apples? The total mass is 12 kilogram, 12,000 gram divided by mass of the apple is 120 gram. That is equal to 100 apples. And he gave me 16 kilograms of mangoes. How many mangoes are there? The total mass is 16,000 gram divided by mass of one mango is 160 gram. It's equal to 100 mangoes. So in conclusion, we can see that if the mass of the apple is 12 times the mass of the grape and if the mass of the mangoes is 12 times the mass of the grape, then the number of grapes in 1 kilogram will be equal to the number of apples in 12 kilogram which will be again equal to the number of mangoes in 16 kilograms. From this garden of grapes, apples and mangoes let's go to a new garden. A garden of periodic table of elements. In this new garden in place of grape, we have the hydrogen atom. In place of apple, we have the carbon atom. And in place of mango, we have the oxygen atom. If the mass of a hydrogen atom is one unit, carbon atom is 
12 times heavier than the hydrogen atom. So the mass of the carbon atom will be 12 units. And oxygen atom is 16 times heavier than the hydrogen atom. So the mass of the oxygen atom will be 16 units. So we have the hydrogen, carbon and the oxygen as our new fruits. From this example, we already found that if the mass of the grape is 1 unit and if the mass of the apple is 12 unit and if the mass of the mango is 16 unit, the number of grapes in 1 unit mass will be equal to the number of apples in 12 unit mass and it will be equal to the number of mangoes in 16 unit of mass. So, we can also expect that the number of hydrogen atoms hydrogen atoms in one unit or one gram will be equal to the number of carbon atoms in 12 grams which will be again equal to the number of oxygen atoms in 16 grams and do you know what is this number and this number is equal to 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 and this number is called Avogadro's number Avogadro's number so the Avogadro's number of anything of 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 of anything is called 1 mole and the symbol of mole is mole so 1 gram of hydrogen contains 1 mole of hydrogen atoms 12 grams of carbon contains one mole of carbon atoms and 16 gram of oxygen contains one mole of oxygen atoms how big is this number 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 in order to understand this let's consider uh, uh, i have to count one mole of apples and i will count one apple in one second I have one mole of apple means I have 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 apples in order to count one apple I take one second so in order to count one more apples I take 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 seconds let me simplify it into minutes so I divide this by 60 so this many minutes I will take to count all the apples and if I again divide this by 60 I will get the total hours I need to count all these apples and if I divide this by 24 I will get the total number of days that I need to count all these one more apples and if I divide this again by 365 I will get the number of years that I need to count all these apples and if I again divide this by 10 to the power 9 I will get the number of billion years BYR billion years to count all these apples do you know what is this number this is one nine zero eight nine two nine four point seven seven billion years in order to count one mole of apples so that one apple in one second I will take this many billion years and can you even imagine this many billion years you know that 
the age of earth is 4.5 billion years age of earth and if we need to count all these one mole of apples we need 4 2 4 2 0 6 5 times the age of earth this many years we need to count one mole of apples so now you can imagine what a big number this mole is it's a very big number and this much big number of atoms are present in one gram of hydrogen and this much big number of atoms are present in 12 grams of carbon that is one mole from the periodic table we can see the atomic mass of various atoms the atomic mass we can see that the atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 the atomic mass of carbon is 12 and atomic mass of oxygen is 16 atomic mass of sulfur is 32 and so on we already found that 1 gram of hydrogen contains 1 mole of hydrogen atoms 1 gram of hydrogen atoms 1 gram of hydrogen contains 1 mole of hydrogen atoms and 12 gram carbon contains 1 mole of carbon atoms 16 gram of oxygen contains 1 mole of oxygen atoms and 32 gram of sulfur contains 1 mole of sulfur atoms so the atomic mass of any element expressed in gram contains one mole of that atom atomic mass expressed in gram is called gram atomic mass gram atomic mass so the gram atomic mass of hydrogen is one gram and that contains one mole of atoms gram atomic mass of carbon is 12 gram and it contains one mole of carbon atoms and gram atomic mass of any element contains one mole of atoms of that element now let's consider a molecule for example the water molecule h2o the molecular weight of water is 2 times 1 plus 16 the sum of the atomic masses is equal to 18 so a water molecule is 18 times heavier than a hydrogen atom if one gram of hydrogen contains one mole of hydrogen atoms 18 gram of water must contain one mole of water molecules so 18 gram of water contains one mole of water molecules in general the molecular weight expressed in gram for any compound that contains one mole of the molecules of that compound the molecular weight expressed in gram is called gram molecular mass so the gram molecular mass of water is 18 gram and it contains one mole of water molecules the gram molecular mass of any compound contains one mole of the molecules of that compound and it is also called one gram mole one gram mole now let's consider more examples carbon dioxide the molecular mass of carbon dioxide is carbon is 12 plus oxygen is 16 2 times 16 that is equal to 44 so the gram molecular mass of carbon dioxide is 44 gram and 44 gram of carbon dioxide contains 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecules molecules carbon dioxide molecules so it is one mole one 
mold. So one mole of carbon dioxide means 44 gram that is the molecular mass of carbon dioxide expressed in gram and this is also called the molar mass of carbon dioxide the molar mass molar mass and let's consider sulfuric acid H2SO4 the molecular mass is 2 plus 32 32 is a molecular atomic mass of sulfur plus oxygen 4 times 16 that is equal to 98 so 98 gram of sulfuric acid contains 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 molecules so it is one mole so one mole of sulfuric acid is 98 gram or the molar mass of sulfuric acid is 98 gram so one mole of water means 18 gram of water one mole of carbon dioxide is 44 gram of carbon dioxide and one mole of sulfuric acid is 98 gram of sulfuric acid and all these amounts contains the same number of molecules that is 6.02 times 10 raised to 23 molecules this is simply the concept of mole